Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I am going to try my new iPhone. Let's see. I got a new phone, so I'm hoping that'll... Because it's real crackly on this computer, so I don't know. Hopefully this works. Okay, anyway. I made some cards. I just filmed it on my other phone, and I wasn't happy with it. So, using... found this. I was fiddling around and going through bins and found this cute little snowman wood block that I'd gotten at Tuesday morning back in the day. I got a lot of stuff from Tuesday morning. I shot there a lot. Do you remember that? Anyway, Stampendous, 2013. Anyway, I thought he was adorable, so I made three different cards for hashtag Anna White's hashtag snowmen in January. So I'll try not to take sips every three minutes, but here we go. So I started with this one, and I just had made his scarf orange and yellow. I made three different guys. So this one, and I had this from Allie, and then I have these frames from Allie as well. They kind of do that ragged edge. And I wanted to pick up on the yellow in his scarf, so I did that, and the bird is blue for this one, and I Copic colored him, and then I had this, you make the world a brighter place, and I thought that was cute for that. And this is a Stampin' Up! 1999. So there is this one. I don't know if I did anything. Yeah, and then I took my pieces. Oh, and I used my Tim Holtz on Deckle Cutter on the brown. I don't know if you can tell, yeah. So, and distress um, vintage photo going around. So, there is that one. Kind of different, not your typical snowman colors, but wait, <laughs> I get into it. Okay, so then I did this guy, and again, same one, and I think, I think he's Copic colored as well, yes. And I have Copic, so I thought, well, I should be using them, right? So, and this was on my dresser in my bedroom, and I oh, that's perfect. I needed something on him or on the corner here. I like dimension. So on this one, the bird is red, teals, and greens, and yellows for his scarf. And I went around the edge with Distress Oxides. I don't remember which color, but I have the overlay acetate overlay i think i got this this year winter acetate and it was on clearance at michael's back in the day so yeah so we use that acetate overlay yay i use something that i bought that's so cool <laughs> anyway and then i think um crafter craft eccentricity sharon had shared these and i think these come from surprise creations i'm almost positive so i used these and i made this little guy isn't he cute how could you not be happy and then i just put a piece of the leftover acetate at the top so that was fun and then i did another one this was watercolor and i Struggled with the black. It kind of ran. I don't think you could see it, which I shouldn't point it out, right? Kind of a teal bird. And then I did bird, or violet and lime green, so different colors. And that acetate again. And then I had these in my stash. I wanted something silver, so there they is from Tuesday morning. The yellow tag. And I cut this out. And these are from Surprise Creations. Ovals. I love how they, this is not a toy. Whatever. Anyway, so what I did, though, is I cut out the front, the oval, same size oval on the card cover. I need to glue that down better, it looks like. And then have this on the inside. So I need to put some more adhesive behind that. So there you go. And there's that acetate, and it's in a little snowstorm. So there's two different ways I use the acetate. One just laying it on top. And this is a hot buy. I love these modeled colors so with the snow and everything it came out really pretty and then one with it cut out and this is just I made the blue card out of card stuff so there is that one so thank you Anna for have, hosting this it gave me a purpose um, for making and I don't know maybe this week I'll do I haven't been on much um, 
watch my next video where I do haul. It'll probably be a two-part video, and I'll talk about and maybe you guys can give me some input on my health. It's not COVID, but I'm just kind of struggling with stuff, my hands and stuff. So anyway, enough. So come to my next haul video, and if I if you have any suggestions, I'd appreciate it. All right, see you in a bit. Bye.